All right, y'all already know, man. So George Carl, Carl, former coach of the NBA, uh, I do remember him coaching for the Nuggets and the Milwaukee Bucks, and I believe the Seattle Supersonics. But, you know, as y'all know, he has some things to say about Bronny. Bronny has been the topic, really, of the media since he was drafted number 55th overall by the Los Angeles Lakers. So, basically, if you take a look at this tweet, he's basically clowning on the Lakers for drafting Bronny and basically saying, like, who'd be surprised by this by the stats? He ended up, quote, of course, posting up his stats, uh, which is what? Uh, G League debut, six points, five turnovers, four assists, three rebounds, two steals, one block. Brian Windhorst, who was LeBron's really, I know he went to St. Vincent, St. Mary, not with LeBron, but they went to the same school and he kind of came up off LeBron, was heavy, heavily critical of what's going on with Bronny because Bronny's only playing at home games with the G League. He's flying private. He's not flying commercial with everybody else. And, um, you know, and unfortunately, Bronny has been stinking it up and not only the NBA, but the G League, you know, and salute to the brother too. Ross saw his video about it. I made a video about it last week about Bronny only playing at home games, but in the G League. But let me just be honest, right? Let me start with George, George Carl. I mean, what he posted ain't wrong. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like him. He tried to, he basically told Carmelo Anthony he ain't a superstar and all of that. But what he posted is not wrong. Same thing with Brian Renhorse. You should not, how in the hell can you be in the G League, but you only play in home games and you fly in private? Bronny is not that guy in the NBA. He might be the worst player in the NBA. And the crazy thing about this whole thing, right, is as a as a black man who has a black son you want to see nepotism right you want to see people get those type of positions but at the same time it's like dog you y'all y'all are yo you were completely not prepared they rushed the process with him and because the media mainstream media is all making money off of it you know they're just going to overlook the fact that Bronny's not a good player in basketball and i've made several videos talking about how I think Bronny's a, a he was raised the right way. I think LeBron and Savannah did a great job of raising him, but his basketball game on the court right now is trash. I, w I wish he would get better. I hope it'd be nice to see Bronny as an all star, but it just doesn't happen. And the thing that I guess the the Lestands don't understand is Bronny wasn't he wasn't the best player in middle school. He wasn't the best player in high school. He damn sure wasn't the best player in college. Yet he gets drafted over a Caleb Foster who Caleb Foster's in his second year at Duke and Caleb Foster's a better a overall better player than Bronny. DJ Wagner is an overall better player than Bronny and he came back for a second year. But yeah, Bronny gets drafted, he's struggling. They don't want you to say nothing and then he's still being coddled. He he didn't do interviews in high school. Cool, fine, right? Whatever. That's that he's he's underage, whatever. He goes to USC. He does he doesn't do any interviews at USC. Cool. I don't I don't agree with that, but whatever. But now in the pros, at one point, he the, the Lakers exempted from doing interviews. And now you're babying a grown man who makes multi-million dollars a year playing basketball. To Oh, no, you, you don't have to travel with your team. You don't have to prove and scrape and earn your spot. You're just going to play in home games and fly private from everybody else. And don't tell me that, oh, it's because of his popularity. Man, listen. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying that Bronny isn't popular, but I think the days of like him being in high school and being like this star feed on is over. And I think the thing is people like myself and other people, I rooted for Bronny. And from his freshman year in high school, I'm like, okay, maybe he going to be that guy. He never grew. I mean, he taller than the average person. He was six, six, one, but he never, he, he never grew. He don't create his own shots. He's, he's very, um, passive aggressive. Like he passes the ball too much. He's not an aggressive player at all. But yet, you you guys are telling me that we're not that he is ready for the NBA and that we're hating. No, I'm sorry. David Booker got caught on camera. Jalen Brown got caught on camera. These are future Hall of Famers, man. LeBron and his agenda with the whole he got a he's a one and done player is destroying the NBA. It is. And Jeannie Buss has made a mockery of the Lakers franchise. You want LeBron that bad? To where you'll pretty much let him do anything and i seen i remember people even saying man bryce bryce is up next look i've been watching bryce since he was a freshman i don't see it i'm sorry i don't see it 
Yeah, he's taller than 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 uh Bronny, but I don't see the game unless, unless his genes kick in at 2021. I don't see it. I don't see it. Bryce isn't even the best player on his team. Bronny was never the best player on their teams. And guess what? Everybody can't make it to the NBA. My cousin played in the NBA for years, Keon Clark. His sons didn't go to the NBA, and that's cool. It's not meant for everybody. So I don't know, man. It's just, it's it's the NBA has damn near turned to WWE now. At the end of the day, I get it's a business. They're making millions of dollars off of it, which is why I'm gonna keep making videos, you know. And I don't really care what my detractors have to say. If they go, if they gonna talk about it, I'm gonna talk about it. But come on now, let's let's not act like we're not seeing what we're seeing. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.